These slides concern Chapter 5, Marketing and Advertising in e-commerce. In this chapter, we are going to talk about many ideas. The first one is online consumer behavior. We need to understand what are the factors that impact the consumer online. When going on the net, surfing the net, what are the factors impacting my decisions? In order to understand the consumer, uh, the online consumer behavior, many models has been proposed. In this figure, we have many factors that researchers and marketers thought that may have a great impact on the behavior of a consumer. I need to clarify, and every consumer behave autonomously, uniquely, in a different manner. However, we will find some factor impacting generally its behavior, or the behavior of a surfer. But for example, the, the first uh, category concerns consumer characteristics. The personal characteristics of the consumer affect its behavior. Uh, factors they could be age, gender, education level, the lifestyles, my values, the way I know, how the, how the way I perceive information through reading, through our surfing, through websites. For example, both uh, scientifically, our uh, previous re research has found that male and females have been found to receive market information differently. Gender impact the way we receive, we analyze information. Also, the way we want to search, how we want to buy products from online. The factors that impact females are totally different or are relatively different than uh, male. Uh, the age, uh, you will believe that younger people will behave differently online than older people. The main factor concerning the consumer characteristics are age, gender, income, and education, lifestyle. The second factor that the, uh, the researcher has categorized uh, factors impacting L behavior concerning the product itself. Definitely different product, I will have different behavior concerning toward these products. Um, I cannot buy only a uh, cheap product or I cannot buy only a uh, high prices product. For the price of the product will influence me while taking a decision to buy the product uh, from online. The appearance of the product, the quality of the product, the type of the product itself. Maybe I will prefer buying um, official tools or uh, tools for uh, the classroom. Or I may be, am I women? I may buy uh, medicines, uh, flowers, but I will not buy a car through online. So the type of the product will impact my decision. Maybe I will go searching for information uh, to buy clothes, but I will not go to buy jewelry. So another group of factors is related to the product and services itself. Relatively, uh, digital services uh, are very accepted online, for buying tickets, uh, buying uh, books, and uh, buying uh, music, uh, CDs, yani, uh, online songs, online services, uh, digital, in the form of a digital format, have a great acceptance through the online. The third factor concerns the merchant itself. So the merchant, usually people uh, want to buy from merchants that they, they trust. Now we mentioned before in you know, trust and security is the main issue in the electronic environment. People dealing with persons that they don't know, they have perceived electronic uh, secu high security issue. So if a consumer know that he deal with someone he can trust, this will help him dealing online. So merchant as brand repetition, as uh, in our website that I can trust will make consumer want to deal with him. As I said, in usually examples mentioned in the book concerns uh, worldwide websites. They say, you know, for example, dealing with Amazon, since it is high uh, websites well known, for people will like to use this web this websites. 
based on our discussions, and we said you know dealing with soup.com is very accepted in Egypt due to its repetition and a good experience and finally people are uh, having with it. Uh, not only the repetition, but the size of transaction are also impacting a merchant's factors. The policies that he provide me in order to return a product, I'll get back my money. All these will impact which merchant or which website I will choose to deal with. Also, there is factor concerning an environmental factor. An environmental factor in which transactions occur. This includes regulation, taxation, maybe include the level of education in a country, include the culture in the country, include the effect of my family and community on my decisions. And finally, there is the e-commerce systems, the platform that support this operation. A platform that offer online transactions as a function all functions available through the websites, how I pick the items, how I put the items in the my cart, how I, I am going to pay for the items, uh, if I don't want the items, what are the policies that are giving me to, re to return the items, how information are accurate and displayed in the, item, in the websites, the design and the color used through the websites, the support that the websites, our services that the websites offer me, are, are they going to deliver a product for me? I'm going to pay through what services, PayPal or prepaid cards or uh, cash on delivery. The services that I'm going to receive while uh, buying the product or even after buying the product. So finally, we have one, two, three, four, five factors mainly affecting the consumer behavior of the model that we are going to discuss. The model that we are discussing is based on five, model, uh, five factors. <coughs> the, first, <coughs> the first factor discusses the consumer characteristics. The second factor uh, discusses a product with services uh, offered by the websites. The third one concerns merchant factors and the product uh, factors are displayed and finally the e-system itself, the technology and the websites available. In the middle I can see the behavior, our attitude toward taking decisions. First I will have an intention to buy or not to buy uh, a product through online. The intention is affected by the attitude, the arrow moving from attitude to intention imply an attitude affect intention. If I have positive attitude, I will go to buy online. If I have good experience, previously experience through uh, buying online, this will give me a positive attitude to deal with websites. Before attitude, I need to be aware. I need to know that there are many websites offering services that going to websites surf, searching for information and buying products will help me satisfying my needs. The first step is being aware, then moving to my attitude. Is it positive or negative? The attitude I want to buy. My first impression on using this site is going to be positive or negative. The attitude is formed based on my knowledge in general, my experience in life in general, and hearing people talking about their experiences. Then having an intention will move me to the purchase, the action itself of doing the, the purchase online. And finally, based on this action, what I have received on the websites, based on my experience of dealing with this experience, I'm going to be loyal and I will move again and again and purchase through websites or I will have a bad experience infecting my attitude to do the process again. Players in the consumer decision-making process. Researchers have categorized our clusters segmenting consumers into different types. The first one is the initiator. By the initiator, we mean the person who first suggests or think of the idea of buying a particular product or services online. Usually, everyone has an, initi an, an initiator in his group, 
سواء from the family أو from the friends. We have a person categorized as always suggesting new ideas. يلا بينا نخرج النهاردة. يلا مش عارفة نعمل إيه. This is the one we call initiator. He always start with new idea. The second category is the influencer. برضو we have seen this person near around us, every one of you. The person who advise carries some weight in making a final precision de purchasing decision. Ask yourself, I'm going to take the opinion of whom? This is the one that is influencing your decision. Maybe it's your best friend. Maybe it's one of your family. Maybe it's a blogger. That's why we are calling them, calling them influencers, because they are affecting our decisions. Everyone has many influencers in his life. Also, he is playing as an influencer in other people's life. But we face it. We have influencers, we have persons that we know, maybe from a small, our small network, our, that we don't know in reality, but we meet through online. We call them influencer because their actions are affecting our behaviors. And finally, after meeting the initiator and the influencer, someone should take the decision that we go. Someone should take the decision that we buy this product online. There is a decider who will push the decision to be taken from where, from which site, from which store I'm going to buy the product. The buyer and the user may be the same in some situation. Yani if I'm buying a product for myself, I am the buyer and the users. And sometimes I'm the responsible of buying the products, but I'm not the users. This is the case in every organization. There is a department whose who's responsibility of the department to purchase products. However, other employees in other departments will use these products. In our faculty, we are uh, sitting on chairs, on desks, we are using computers, we are using labs. We have not any power on buying these products. Maybe in your house, you have the similar situation. Some of the product, you, are, you, you use it, but you have not bought it. So we have five categories, or five type of players in the making decision process, the initiator, which initiate the process, an influencer who have an impact on influencing others' decision, and the decider who will take the decision at the end, the buyer and the user, may, they may be the same person is buying the product for himself or herself, who could be different persons if the product is bought for someone else. Finally, it's not separated. Everyone can play any of these players I can play all the players in the same process he just mentions the player in the consumer decision process but what is the process itself what are the consumer purchasing decision process itself in general the process consists of five, five major phases you can see the five major phases on the left of the graph, need recognition, information, search, evaluation, purchase, and finally, after purchase, evaluation. The first phase occurs when a consumer is faced with an imbalance between an actual and desired state of a need. I feel that I need something. Something is missing. I want to eat. So he has an imbalance and he wants to eat. I want to buy a new mobile. My mobile has been malfunctioning, so I need another one. The winter has finished. I need to buy some summer new clothes. So I feel there are imbalance between an actual and desired state, what I have and what I should have. And this is the role of marketing to play, to make the consumer recognize such imbalance, to make this imbalance. And convenience to the consumer that the product, our service, will fulfill this gap. So when I felt this, there is an imbalance in my needs and the actual state, I will go and search for information. Back to the example, I need new summer clothes, so I need to search for the new summer clothes. What are the best colors? What are the new models? So I'm searching for information. After identifying the need, the consumers will search for information using various manners. 
when I'm speaking on the reality so I can go to store, physical store and look around me. If I want to buy a mobile, I can go to physical store and search. I can go ask my friends what is the latest model, what is the best mobile that, that they su suggest to me to bring. Then I'm going to the phase of evaluating of different alternatives. I have collected information. I need to evaluate this information to choose between the best option of this information. So gathering information will generate a set of alternatives and the consumer will choose from these alternatives the best one that suits himself. Every consumer had different way to analyze a set of alternatives. Maybe I cannot buy this one because I cannot afford the price. Maybe I will prefer this type because it suits me well. So different way of categorizing or evaluating an uh, <coughs> alternative will lead me to make a decision at the end. Either I'm going for purchasing the product and arrange the way I'm going to pay and the delivery of the product. And the final fa phase is after purchase evaluation. After buying the product, am I satisfied with this product? And this product has already filled in the gap that I have, uh, uh, I have sensed before. A customer service with consumer satisfaction is very important topic in studying and decision behavior stages of a consumer. And if he is not satisfied, he will not return to that store or he will not buy this process again. The aim of every store is to gain a loyalty and increase the satisfaction of a consumer in order to repeat a purchase thing. So again, the phases of buying, of, uh, buying a product the first phase is that I need to recognize that I need this product. I'm going to search for information to make to gather all what I need to know about the product. I need to evaluate what I have gathered through this information. Finally, I'm going for the process of making a purchase or not this product. Will, after purchase will affect my loyalty toward this store and the repetition of purchasing items. Next, we are going to see or discuss how e-commerce in general, how using the internet and ICT to improve every phase of this process, and what is the role that e-commerce can play in every phase uh, of these five phases. What could be the role of using the internet to display product and services to influence the first phase in the buyer behavioral stage need recognition. The idea in all companies need to stimulate the need in the consumers, needs to inform them, to make them aware that there is imbalance between their needs and the actual status. And this is, could be presented by different ways. He could send you an email telling you that this you are missing this product. When you are searching on Google, you can see web ads uh, in both sides, uh, giving you ideas about products that maybe you want to buy. So in this phase, usually they create the needs. They don't need the consumer to feel the imbalance by, by him or herself alone. They play in stimulating this need, in impacting the ways you see the imbalance itself. And then for the next phase, for searching information, we have mentioned a lot of times that doing search online, finding information, comparing about the product, a detailed post concerning a product, it could be done easily online than in the physical world. Also, for searching for information, many websites offer the way that consumer can review the product and post the reviews, rate and product services, info, uh, our services offered by these websites, to tell a friend about these websites, to make a recommendation through websites. And we are going to mention, I cannot ignore the role of automated recommended system. We have mentioned before when searching on Amazon, I usually see books related to my search. So they rec recommend automatically to me other books that stimulate my needs. 
أو I'm searching for products and they recommend matching product أو other people who bought this product has also bought similar like this and this. So they offering me more information to search about and compare different alternatives. So in, in e-commerce, our internet in general, our going with the idea of e-commerce <clears throat> will stimulate the need recognition phase will offer me many information and many alternatives to search. Finally, it's my way to evaluate. These days, there are many sites that are responsible of doing a comparisons between a product. Also, the review, our rating will help me in the evaluation phase. <clears throat> we are saying that people are usually influenced by their friends, by their colleague, by the way the people they work with, with their family. The opinion by these people posted online, our opinion by influence, influencers in general posted online will impact my decision. Finally, I'm going to take the decision and purchase the product. So after purchase evaluating, all also having websites is influencing or affecting this phase since I can write my review, I can rate, I can influence other people to make the decision, I can recommend other people, I can rate the product. That we can see in the doing in phases electronically, it's affected, it's influenced, it's better.